we all know, President Obama has promised to make it so everyone in America will have health care, always, and with no problems whatsoever. And most of all, he promises it won't increase the national deficit by one dime. But how is this possible? One plausible theory is that it won't be health care for all. It will be health care for some, and the government will decide who. Just like in other countries that have attempted to nationalize medicine, seniors can expect to get bumps to the back of the line. How do we know this will be the case in America? Two major reasons. One, there's a provision in H.R. 3200 that says that seniors will receive a visit from a government-sponsored healthcare professional who will go over their end-of-life options with them, including whether or not they want artificially administered nutrition and hydration. Two, Ezekiel Emanuel, an advisor on healthcare, actually co-wrote a paper on how to decide who gets medical care in tough circumstances. His solution, the older you are, the more life you've had, and so the less important it is to save you. Obama tells American seniors that there's no reason to be concerned, but why isn't there? Since when has a visit from a government official ever been a good thing, considering that what's essentially taking place is an audit on their lives? And besides, he doesn't give them any real answers to explain how he can give everyone health care for no extra money. We think he can't.